Welcome to the California Housing and Community Development Training Series. Today's session is titled, Informal Procurement Methods. This procurement training will provide an overview of the various procurement methods, then go into the two types of informal procurement methods, followed by a more detailed look at both micro purchases and small purchases. There are four allowable methods of procurement. First, micro purchases. Second, small purchases. Third, sealed bids. And fourth, competitive proposals. Micro purchases and small purchases are referred to as informal procurements, whereas sealed bids and competitive proposals are referred to as formal procurements. Micro purchases can only be used for the procurement of items that do not exceed $10,000 in the aggregate. Small purchases can only be used for the procurement of goods and services that do not exceed $250,000 in the aggregate. Sealed bids and competitive proposals must be used for the procurement of goods and services that exceed $250,000 in the aggregate. Again, Micro purchases are for the procurement of items that do not exceed $10,000 in the aggregate. Micro purchases allow for a pool of vendors to be pre selected for future recurring purchases of predetermined items and are primarily used to procure supplies and materials. Small purchases allow for the procurement of goods and services that do not exceed $250,000 in the aggregate. Under small purchases, the procuring entity is not required to publish solicitations for bids. The small purchase method is primarily used to procure goods or services such as equipment, consultants, or construction contracts. Micro purchases help expedite the procurement of lowest dollar small purchase transactions and minimize the associated administrative burden and cost by allowing for a pool of vendors to be pre-selected for future recurring purchases of predetermined items. Purchases must be equitably distributed among the qualified pool of suppliers or vendors, and contracts and purchase orders can be awarded without soliciting competitive proposals if the price is determined to be reasonable based on research, experience, purchase history, or other information that is documented. The determination of cost reasonableness for each micro purchase must be documented. The following workflow depicts the timeline of key events for micro purchases. First, develop a list of supplies and materials that need to be procured and identify a list of qualified vendors or suppliers to be used. Next, perform a price analysis on the selected list of items and based on the results of the price analysis, finalize the list of vendors or suppliers that will become the micro purchase pool for future purchases of those supplies and materials. As items are needed, cycle through the list of vendors to make purchases and issue purchase orders and make purchases. Last but not least, document all phases of each procurement action. In this scenario, the county regularly needs to purchase paper and ink to provide CDBG CV services. The county identifies OfficeMax, Walmart, and Amazon as qualified vendors for the supplies. A price analysis confirms the three vendors offer reasonable prices for paper and ink. In quarter one, paper and ink supplies are running low, so the county purchases the supplies from the first vendor on the list, OfficeMax. A few months later, paper and ink are running low again, so the county purchases the supplies from the next vendor, Walmart. The next time, supplies are purchased from Amazon, and then back to OfficeMax the time after that. Small purchases allow for the procurement of goods and services that does not require publishing a solicitation for bids. Rather, Competition is sought through oral or written quotes. 
Grantees must document that an adequate number of quotes, typically three or more, were received and record the rate or quote received along with the other vendor identifying information such as name, address, phone number, and website. Contracts and purchase orders can be awarded to the lowest responsive bidder. The following workflow depicts the timeline of key events for small purchases. First, develop the scope of work or services for the goods or services being sought. Next, develop an internal cost estimate for the goods or services. After that, draft the bid solicitation and distribute to qualified vendors or suppliers. Solicit bids from at least three qualified vendors or suppliers and award the contract to the lowest bidder. Administer the contract and receive the goods or services. And last but not least, document all phases of each procurement action. If the county needs to buy four new computers and printers at a CDBG CV jobs training center, and the total cost is more than $10,000, then the county must obtain three bids and make the purchase from the vendor that is lowest in price. If the county needs to rehabilitate a public facility to accommodate CDBG funded child daycare services, and the total cost is less than 250,000, including contingency and change orders, then the county may use the small purchase method. Documenting decisions at each stage of a procurement is incredibly important to demonstrate compliance with the requirements. For micro purchases, documentation should include a list of items, price analysis, contract and or purchase order, invoices or receipts, and proof of payment. For small purchases, documentation should include scope of work or services, independent cost estimate, bid solicitation, document at least three bids, contract and or purchase order, invoices or receipts, and proof of payment. So now, let's test your knowledge. Match each procurement method in the left column with one of the desired goods or services in the right column. The answers are provided on the next slide. Here are the answers. How'd you do? The purchase of office supplies can be procured using the micro purchase method so long as the supplies do not exceed $10,000 in the aggregate. The same is true for food for a Meals on Wheels program. The purchase of multiple computers and software likely will require the procuring entity to use the small purchase method since the purchase is likely to exceed the micro purchase threshold of $10,000 in the aggregate, but not exceed the simplified acquisition threshold of $250,000 in the aggregate. Likewise, the selection of a contractor to install a new ADA ramp that is expected to cost less than $250,000 may be procured using the small purchase method. The selection of a construction contractor to rehabilitate a senior center where the contract amount exceeds $250,000 must be procured using the sealed bid method. Likewise, a countywide consultant contract expected to cost more than $250,000, even if the CDBG CV share is less than $250,000, must be procured using the competitive proposals method, most often through a request for proposals. The procurement standards are located in the Uniform Administrative Requirements at 2 CFR Part 200, Subpart D. Thank you for attending this California Housing and Community Development Training Session on Formal Procurement Methods. If you have any further questions, please contact your grant administrator.